Thanks for watching, everybody. We're in Kalkaska County. We're talking about an early plant spring walk. I know you see a lot of snow behind us, and it's really very cold right at the moment, but that's not going to last because spring is on the way. We're talking to Monica Buck. She is an herbalist, and she also does this early spring plant walk. Thanks for taking the time. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out. All right. Now, you do the plant walk here on your property, about 10 acres. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, yep, we have trails all through the property. We have woods and fields, and we are going to meet here on April 23rd and venture out into the woods and meet some wild plants if any pop through in this snow here. And we will be learning about edibles and medicinals and get to sample some of them while we're here, too. All right. Now, you were saying last year it was starting to pop about the time that you're doing it. We had that big April snowstorm, so we've got plenty of time. Right. Uh, so what will you encounter along the way on the walk? Uh, well, at that time, we'll be looking for wild ramps, which are wild leeks. Um, there should be some violets popping up, probably lots of dandelions and plantain. Uh, uh, just a good combination of wild greens and edibles and medicinals. All right, and then you were saying along the walk, you'll pick some things and then come back and make a salad? Right, we're gonna enjoy a wild green salad together. A lot of people have never gotten the chance to eat wild greens right out of the ground, so it's the most nutritious way to get your greens in. I gotta tell you, I've been on a few walks in my day. Never once did I pick stuff and come back and make a salad. <laughs> that sounds intriguing. Yeah, you're missing out. Now, come wait a minute. <laughs> do, do you pick up some ranch dressing along the way? Uh, no, but I do make a really fantastic wild raspberry infused balsamic. Wow, it's very fancy <laughs> out here. How did you get into all this? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story, but I have been studying plants and herbalism for about six years now. Um, a really amazing herbalist from downstate took me on my first plant walk about yeah. six years ago, and Jim McDonald. Yeah. So he really just sucked me in, and I have been interested ever since. All right, so the plant walk is April the 26th. How can people find out more if they want to come out and do it? Uh, April 23rd. And Sorry, <laughs> it's a little cold. Go ahead. I have a Facebook page, Wise Roots Apothecary. That's my business. Okay. That's the best way to find out about updates and future classes that I have coming up. All right, so as an herbalist, I suppose you have wonderful things that you uh, can eat and take when you're feeling like you might get a cold. Absolutely. All right, lay it on me. Oh, pressure. Well, elderberry syrup is pretty popular. Elderberry That's, syrup. Right, we do have elderberries growing very abundantly wild okay. in northern Michigan. So right. later in the season, I'll do some walks to teach about how to find those. Um, a really great just spice cabinet herbalism, your sage, thyme, rosemary, those make really fantastic steams. You just put them in a pot. Oh, I like that. Get the steam yeah. going and put a towel over your head and breathe in those vapors. Fantastic for kicking out a cold. All right, and you've been out here in the snow with us. You're drinking some tea. What is that? <laughs> it's a little cold now, but this is an herbal Tulsi chai tea that right. I make. It is basic chai blend and it has Tulsi in it as well, which is an Ayurvedic herb. It's great for immunity as well, very aromatic, but most of all for today's purpose, it's nice and warming. All right. <laughs> you said several things there that I don't understand. <laughs> all right, your Facebook page again. Wise Roots Apothecary. Excellent. April 23rd. April 23rd from 6 to 8. All right. It'll be much warmer than it is right now. In Kalkaska County, talking about, oh, taking a walk and picking up lunch. I'm Vic McCarty from my TV 12 and my news 26.